Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? So I took this video of the Tigers playing the Mets in spring training. I took it probably, you know, a month and a half ago. I wanted to make a video, and I actually forgot to do it. I made some other videos instead, um, and I was just looking through my computer, found it again. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about what's in it. Um, basically, we're going to talk a little bit about playing third base, um, you know, a couple of key things that happen in this play. Also talk a little bit about footwork around the bag for second baseman. So let's just play it real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what happens and we'll go over it. All right, so, um, you know, the reason I, I wanted to show it is because a lot of stuff happens here that I think are good coaching points, whether you play short or, excuse me, whether you play third base or second base. Um, so the first thing, we've talked in past videos uh, about some of the keys to playing third base. If you didn't see that video, look it up and go back and check it out because, um, you know, I think it's a pretty good video on covering all aspects of third base. Um, but in this video in particular, you know, a couple things about third base. Third base to me... Um, it's a different position than, than second and, and short. And if you've played second and short and you go over to play um, third base, it takes a little bit of adjusting to um, for a few reasons. But for one, you know, it's a position where you have to make a quick read. So the ball's hit and you're not going to have a whole lot of time to get yourself, you know, set up to get around the ball and all this stuff. You really got to pick out a hop and you got to either go get it, you got to drop step. Um, so it's got to be a quick reaction. You got to go with your first reaction. If your first reaction tells you, you know, come up and take this ball in the short hop, well, then you got to come up and take the ball in the short hop. So in this in this instance, you see it's a chopper, and he reads it quickly as a chopper, and he tries to step up and pick it on the short hop. So the ball's hit, and right here, bang! You see that the once he sees the ball up in the air, well, he decides I'm going to charge this ball. I'm going to try to get on the short hop, and he does perfectly right here. Anytime you're feeling the ground ball, we've talked about it in the past, you want to try to get the field, you want to try to field the short hop or the long hop. You want to stay away from the in-between hop. And to do that, you got to use your feet. And once he reads it, he gets it on the short hop right here. So he just pinches the short hop. So he does a really good job of using his feet, reading the ball, reading the hop, and then going to get that short hop, which is the first thing that I really like. Um, the second thing, when it comes to playing third base, you're going to field a lot of balls one-handed like you see here. When you play middle infield, again, you have time to get around the ball, you know, um, and you're going to use two hands a lot more at those positions. But at third base, a lot of times, you're going to have to use one hand. And it's a lot easier of a play to use one hand, specifically when you're going for a short hop, you're charging the ball here. you got to trust your one-handed plays. Um, so you got to make sure when you're playing third base, in practice, make sure you practice one-handed plays. You gotta, you gotta be confident using one hand. A lot of players aren't confident using one hand. A lot of players want to use two hands on everything, but but there's certain plays that can't be made with two hands. You're better off making them with one hand. Now I know it goes against maybe some of your coaches when you played little league or when you were younger that said always use two hands. Well, you can't always use two hands. And this is a play here where you gotta use one hand. So make sure you're practicing your one-handed plays. It's really, really important. Um, so those are a few things I want to hit on third base. Now, real quick, let's talk about second base. Um, and second base here is Steve Lombardozzi, who I played with when I was with the Nationals. And talk about, uh, you know, one of the, first off, one of the best, better second basemen that I've been able to play with, even though he's still a young guy and not maybe not a lot of people know who he is yet. Um, he's just a really, really good defender. And he's one of the hardest working defenders I've ever seen. And he just made the routine play all the time. I don't think I've ever seen him mess up a routine play, which is amazing. Um, but real quick, I just want to talk a little bit about footwork around the bag. Again, we've talked about this in other videos. So if you're a second baseman, go look up our second base videos. Um, but, you know, on a ball from third base, you want to get your left foot on the bag, as you see here. You're going to take your right foot to the ball. So you see the ball, left foot on the bag, right foot to the ball, and then your left foot is going to come down. You want to try to catch the ball in the middle of your body, two hands, so that you can transfer. And you can see that the momentum, as he goes right, left here, he gets his momentum going towards the base. 
towards the towards his target. A lot of times you'll see players going this way when they're throwing the ball to first base. So it's left foot on the bag, right foot to the ball, then left foot comes down, transfer in the middle of your body, short arm circle, throw, and the last part is to get up in the air. If you stay down and get hit in your in your lead leg, you could get a knee injury. So make sure you get off your feet. Then if he takes you out, you have nothing planted, you won't be injured. It's really, really important. Um, another thing that, to keep in mind is you want to think, especially when you're younger, uh, you know, in the big leagues, guys can slide way in here and way out here as long as they can keep a, a hand to the base. And sometimes they don't even have to do that. I'm probably not going to call it. But it's important to get away from the bag. You don't want to stay in the bag. Now, sometimes you're going to have to because of how the play is. But if you can really get good at taking the right foot to the ball and getting slightly outside of the baseline, because in younger levels of baseball, they got to slide into the bag. So if you can get out here a little bit, you'll be safe. Big League's a little bit tougher, and that's why you see Lombardozzi here. He quickly throws, and you can see how quickly he gets up off of that left leg and gets out of the way right there. Really good job. And again, here's a good angle. Left foot on the bag. Right foot to the ball. Left foot towards your target, getting momentum going. Catch the ball in the middle of your body. Transfer, short arm circle. You can see how quick and short that arm circle is. He breaks thumbs down, boom. Ball comes up short, throws, and it gets off his left leg. So those are the keys to third base, to second base. A couple of the keys. There's obviously more that we could go over, but some of the, the keys that were highlighted in this video, you know, it seems like a really... Look, they make it look really, really easy, but there's a lot going on in this play that you guys can work on to make yourselves better infielders. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Comment in the section below. Share the video. Like, uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share with all your friends, all that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.